Hello, welcome to this video. I hope you enjoyed the new titles. I'm starting to sort of mix things up with these videos a bit, so I thought, why not have a new starter and a new ending, which you'll see at the end of this video. Um, so today in this video, we are looking at this. And this is a KitchenAid Artisan Kettle. I mean, there's not much you can say about a kettle, really. It's not overly packed with lots of technology and it doesn't connect to the Wi-Fi or anything like that because, I don't know, I quite like the ritual of making a drink. I like going into the kitchen, just taking some time and uh, making myself the perfect cup of tea. And uh, I do have a one cup machine, which you've probably seen in other videos, and it is great. But the problem is, it's just a bit ugly and it's made of like this shiny metal. And because we live in a hard water area, even with the filtered water through it, it just ends up with splashes and watermarks on it. And quite quickly, it looks just a bit sad and grubby. So because we're moving and we're gonna have a nice shiny new kitchen, I thought it was time for a nice shiny new kettle. And uh, it is KitchenAid, so it will match the mixer that we've got and the little blender. So hopefully it will, uh, it will finish off the new kitchen beautifully. But we haven't moved yet, but it's arrived already. Now, before all the rigmarole of moving and everything like that, I just thought I'd make a short video where we unbox it and we take a little look at it and uh, see what we get for our money. Now, KitchenAid stuff is not cheap. It is very expensive. I'm not, I'm not gonna hide behind that fact. And, and basically, this has been purchased by you, the people at home who click on Amazon links in the video descriptions, this has been purchased through that. So uh, thank you, YouTube people. That's very kind of you. Um, now it is red on the box. I haven't chosen red because that's a bit garish for me. So uh, let's see what color I went for and uh, let's get this thing opened. Now I sort of didn't want to use this until we'd moved, but um, it is a new shiny toy, so uh, yeah, I might have a play with it. I suppose it would be a bit of a boring video if I didn't, wouldn't it? So KitchenAid are an American brand. Um, this comes with a three year guarantee. Um, so, you know, I hope it lasts longer than three years, but uh, yeah, it comes with a three year guarantee. So we've got the instruction manual in there and uh, the registration pack. I mean, that is quite a thick manual for a kettle. We shall investigate that. Now, uh, obviously it's a UK spec, so it's got a UK plug. Take this cardboard out. It's a very tight fit. That's what I should have said. Oh, hello. Hello, I'm a happy boy. It is gorgeous. Okay, so this is the base. Now on the base we have this, which is a temperature control because instead of just boiling water, you can tell it to go to a set temperature, which is quite good for sort of herbal teas and coffee and stuff like that. You don't always necessarily want to boil the f out of the water. And uh, there's the power switch. It's a nice feeling to it. Mm, good quality, it slides nicely. There's a fair bit of cable under there that you can just wrap around and uh, change, the, change the length of it and just make it come out of this hole there. So uh, let's get the kettle out of the bag. So uh, what I also quite like is it's got a temperature gauge on it. So if you've just boiled the kettle or someone else in the house has just boiled the kettle, um, you don't necessarily need to go and reboil it again because if the water's hot enough, then uh, you can just pour away. Now it has a uh, indicator on the side here um, showing how much water is in the kettle. I think this has got a one, yeah, it's got 1.5 litre capacity. I think, I'm not entirely sure that is the best place for it. It is quite hard to see once you're holding it, it is slightly obscured by your hand. It's a nice feeling mechanism. Ah, what do we have in here? So inside the kettle is this scale filter, which we will definitely need. Although I think I'm gonna try and um, 
put filtered water in this. Uh, if you want to check out my video on the zero water filter, then I'll put a link to it up there or up there. I can never remember which side it is. Yeah, I mean, that is essentially it. You've got your button there to open the lid. And yeah, it sits quite happily on the base and you can adjust the temperature of the water. And it does spin around 360 on the base, so you can use it for left and right-handed use. This is, I think this is medallion silver. They do come in lots of different color finishes. This might be medallion sil silver. I can't remember the exact one. Well, I guess what we'll do now is uh, go and take it into the kitchen and uh, see what it's like. I fancy a cup of tea. Well, it's all set up and looking lovely. It's nice to see that the medallion silver matches the slate of the mixer really nicely so they don't look too weird next to each other on the side. So we just turn it on and see what happens. Oh, it makes a sound. Right, well, I'll fill it up with some filtered water and uh, we'll get it boiling. Okay, I'm gonna set the temperature to 95 because it's, you know, I don't want it boiling, boiling, boiling. I want to drink my tea as quickly as possible. So uh, let's turn it on. So that's starting to boil. I wouldn't say it's particularly loud. Yeah, it's fairly inoffensive, isn't it? And hopefully you can see the temperatures going up both on the base and also on the dial here. We're very quickly at temperature. It's hit 95 as I wanted and it made quite a nice little ping sound. So hopefully we should have perfect cup of tea temperature. Perfect. So there you have it, a uh, perfect brew at the perfect temperature. Is it made from the perfect kettle? Well, I guess time will tell, but uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.